Today, we will learn about Quick Shop app features. Here, we have already set up app in this store. Check Quick Shop page and web pages list. Now, let's start to study Quick Shop application. Go to Manage Quick Shop. Due to API limit, products having modifiers can be listed only 10 per page. You can set any limit for products having variants. Let's check for modifier setting in Quick Shop page. Check here, 10 products displayed in the list with pagination. Let's check variant options with 50 per page limit. See, all products are listed here. We will allow Quick Shop page to display modifiers. Now, let's check product flyout image effect after adding product to cart. See, floating image to cart icon. Let's check by turning off this flyout function. Look, when you add to cart product, then a modal opens with product details. Now, check for category list to filter products. See, by default you can have all products. There are no categories selected for drop-down. We will show all categories to this list. See, all categories are listed here. Select Shop All to display product having only Shop All category. Now, let's see multiple Add to Cart feature. Fill quantity for some products. Click on Add All to Cart button placed at the top. Products will be adding to cart one by one and price will be calculated also. Check those products in Cart Preview drop-down. Now, we will learn about how Customer Group functionality works in Quick Shop app. Here, all customer groups from your store will be listed. You can select any of them. We will restrict Quick Shop app for only wholesale customer group. And set message for not allowed customer groups. C. Customers for Retail and Wholesale Customer Groups We will log in for Retail Customer first. Look, a message is displayed instead of Product List on Quick Shop page when customer is logged in from Retail Customer Group. Now, we will log in from Wholesale Customer Group to see Quick Shop page. C. Quick Shop page is displayed now with product list. Look, there is a list of wish list in category drop down. You can show hide it from Quick Shop app admin. Select no here and check front end. See, there are no wish list here. Now, check here. You can also toggle in stock quantity to be displayed with quantity field. See product with in stock message. Let's set no for this message and hide inventory level from product details.
See, inventory level is not showing now. Now, check for out of stock product setting in Quick Shop app. There are two options here. You can disable the options which are out of stock. Let's see example here. Now, we will choose other option that disable the add to cart button and shows out of stock message. Look, when you select the option, it will show out of stock instead of add to cart button. Out of stock options we have seen were for non tabular form of variants. Now, we will see variants list in tabular form for product having options. Look, when you click on Show Options button, variant table is displayed with all details. Each variant is displayed with its own options, image, price, SKU, quantity field, and add to cart button. Now, we will restrict customers to show price and add to cart button if they are not logged in. See, you can set any text in place of price. We will set only logged in customers to see pricing in Quick Shop page. See, price is displayed here. Let's refresh the page. Pricing are still showing because we have already logged in as Steve Smith. Actually, we had restricted the page for only wholesale customers, now we will change it. Look at the message in place of price. See, there is no add to cart button. And the message will also be placed in tabular form of product variants. You can also select customer groups to allow to view pricing and add to cart the products. This is all about Quick Shop app features. Thank you for watching this video.